Danger on the job for a Florida Highway Patrol trooper today. The veteran officer hit by a car. The trooper was out of his cruiser looking for speeders on the 836, and that's when he got it. Let's take you live to Jackson Memorial Hospital. CBS 4's Peter Dench is on the scene there with the latest on what happened. Peter. Rick, the latest word we have from a doctor here at JMH is that Trooper Carlos Rosario is in critical but stable condition. He's been in surgery for two hours, has two more hours to go. Now, we do know that his wife is with him, and he also received a visit today from Governor Rick Scott for about 30 minutes. There's also been a striking presence here of FHP troopers. At the end of the day, the guardian angels of our community, and when a guardian angel goes down, we, we are all affected by it. Heartfelt words for 12-year FHP veteran Carlos Rosario, who was struck by a car on the Dolphin Expressway at 9.30 in the morning, an accident prompting fellow troopers to gather outside Jackson Memorial Hospital where Rosario is being treated. This is another example of how dangerous police work is. Uh, it makes no difference whether you're working a traffic detail or you're sitting in a restaurant, somebody comes with and shoots you. Uh, police work is just a dangerous thing every minute of every day. FHP says Rosario was outside his car on the shoulder conducting a traffic stop in the westbound lanes near Northwest 107th Avenue when he was struck by an out of control car. The trooper was standing behind his vehicle on the shoulder with his emergency vest on when a vehicle lost control and spun sideways and hit his patrol car and hit the trooper. FHP says Rosario, who was married and his children, was part of a detail involved with curbing speeding on this St. Patrick's Day. The shoulder where this occurred is, is a very wide shoulder. It's wider than a normal shoulder, so there was plenty of room. That what we have to determine is why this person lost control of his car to spin sideways. Rosario was airlifted to the Ryder Trauma Center where PBA president John Rivera was able to discover this detail. I don't know about behind, but I know it was the lower extremity, and I, he was thrown pretty, pretty violently. The accident left at least two vehicles, including an FHP car with rear end damage. Authorities say the driver who hit Rosario stayed on the scene. As dozens of troopers rushed to the hospital, Rosario received a visit in the afternoon for Governor Rick Scott. He left the Ryder Trauma Center without commenting. Now, FHP says the accident is under investigation, and so far, no one has been cited. FHP says its troopers put their lives on the line every day. It is asking for prayers for Rosario. Incidentally, his brother is also an FHP trooper. We're live at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.